If you've made the investment in a renewable energy system, then you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you claim your 26% federal government tax credit. That's right, the federal government will actually reimburse you 26% of your overall project cost for investing in a solar power system. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the simple steps to fill out this one page form to make sure that you get your tax credit without any trouble. Hi everyone. Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and for the past eight years I've been helping homes get set up with solar power systems so that they're not dependent on the power company and they can protect their homes from a loss of the electric grid. You know, one of the great things about solar power here in America is that the federal government actually gives you a financial incentive to invest in a solar power system. And as of this recording, the government is offering a 26% rebate for your solar power installation. So that means that 26% of your overall project cost, when you total up everything, the materials, the labor, uh, the federal government will reimburse 26% of that amount when you file your tax return at the end of the year. And today I'm gonna to be walking you through the form that we use to claim the rebate. Uh, it's form number 5695, Residential Energy Credits. And I'm gonna put a link in the uh, description down below so that if you wanna grab it, you can grab the blank form and, and that way you have it and can fill it out when the time is right. So starting at the top, you're going to want to put your, your name and social security number here at the top. And then on line number one, you're going to put your total project cost. So this would be you know, your, your retail price of your solar contract before any rebates uh, are, are applied. So in this example here, we had a contract price or a retail price of $25,000 just for this example. So. Put $25,000 here on line one as your total project cost, and assuming that solar is the only thing that you're claiming, because uh, there are some rebates for solar water heating and wind energy, but assuming you're doing solar only, you can skip lines two, three, and four, and then just enter that, that figure here again on line five, which is your total contract price. Right below it on line six, just take the total from line five, multiply it by 26% or 0.26, and then that'll give you the figure here, which in our example is 6,500. Now, you can skip lines seven through 11. This is for fuel cell uh, credits, which does not apply for solar, residential solar PV. So you can skip lines seven through 11. And then line 12, the only time you'd put a, a number here in line 12 is if you've already had solar earlier and you have excess credit that you're, you're carrying forward into this year. But if this is your first time doing the solar installation, then you can leave line 12 blank as well or, or leave it at zero. And so then in line 13, you're gonna to be totaling up lines 12 and six. So again, in our example, it's that same figure of 6,500. Line 14, now this is gonna be dependent for each individual. And this has to do with your individual tax liability. Now the way that this tax rebate works is the government will refund you up to 100% of your tax liability for the year. So in this example, if your credit for, for solar is 6,500, then as long as your tax liability or, or how much tax you pay to the federal government for the year is at least 6,500, then you'll be able to get all of that money back, all of that, that rebate back in the first year, okay? But let's say, let's say your, your um, tax liability is only $5,000 for the year. In that case, of the 6,500, you could take the 5,000 back in the first year, and then the additional 1,500 credit balance you would then claim in the next year. So it's a key point to understand. Um, the federal government, although you're entitled to a full 26% of your solar cost in a rebate, how fast you get that rebate is dependent on your personal tax liability. But as long as your personal tax liability is equal to or greater than the rebate amount, then you can take it all back in the first year. And then that's what line 15 is, is basically how much you're eligible to take back uh, in the first year. Now folks, of course, I'm not a tax professional. I'm not giving you any tax advice. Uh, I just wanted to put the information out here and also give you a place where you can access the form. Uh, that way you're not, you know, when it comes to tax preparation time, uh, you're not uh, there trying to, you know, figure out where to find it. So again, I'll put the link in the description down below so you can download the blank form and that way you have it. 
Uh, and as always, folks, if you find the information that we put on this channel useful, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and more importantly, make sure you share this information with other people that will benefit from it. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.